Four. Go back to Mexico. I ain't Shit. from Mexico, you stupid. Mexico. Attorney Dan Fault says Officer Samuel Rosario had reached his limit with a 19-year-old standing at a potential crime scene. He has his limits, just like every other human being. He responded to a call while he's trying to gather information. This kid keeps interrupting him, making comments, making derogatory comments. And I know it's become the new national blood sport to uh, criticize the police, but uh, everybody has their limits, and he reached his. No, you watch what you say. You watch what you say. You watch what you say, kid. I don't know who you think you're talking to, but f all, you don't talk to me like that. You understand that? I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you. And all of a sudden, before I even got here, you're like, y'all ain't gonna do Fultz says Rosario does have some regret. Police are not uh, better than anybody else, and they're not worse than anybody else, and certainly no one is as bad as the worst thing they've ever done. Uh, I would hate to be judged by the worst thing I've ever done in my life. Sangamon County State's Attorney John Milheiser says the video did play a role in pressing charges against Rosario. The body cam video is important evidence uh, in, in any case. As we've seen uh, in the last couple of years with body camera videos, in every case we want to get as much evidence as possible. That's the idea to figure out what happened at the scene. In this case, the body cam video was used along with all the other evidence in the case to determine that criminal charges were appropriate. Rosario's next court appearance is May 1st.